Hello everyone, welcome back to Fapelheim and Baldur's Gate 3. The Resisting Dark Urge continues his honor mode run in the Underdark. The light of Lathander does not reach this god's forsaken place. But we are here to light the way. And we're starting by speaking with Valo, who has found his way to our camp. Because in him, I sense a subtle divinity. My good fellow. Hello. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> of course. What do you know about mind flayers, good follow? After I trade with you. What have you, good sir? Oh, my. Okay. I'll take camp supplies and five potions of animal speaking. Ugh, Volo, my boy. I believe, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that scrolls use intelligence, right? Or does it actually use your spell casting? That'd be a neat trick. So, what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know? Quite shocking. Indeed. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. I fought one of them. Here? On the Sword Coast? Impossible. Not only have I encountered a mind flare, I've killed one. That... that can't be. I've also been infected with one of their parasites. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Ah, if only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. I didn't do this in my last playthrough because I didn't trust Volo. I've learned a lot about him since. But we'll talk about that after his inspection. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet gods! I would like to be rid of this thing. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Excellent. The bard with nine lives. I thought he was a wizard. Could you go away, please? Volo has decided to remain in our camp, having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. The Blazer of Benevolence. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, you gain four temporary hit points. Oh, interesting. What does Shadowheart currently have? So, Valo, fun fact, hmm. is a reoccurring character. Oh, that's actually not bad. I quite like that. Wretched and thing. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Volo, thank you, Solaire, is something of a chosen of Mistra. He's not exactly a chosen of the goddess of magic. He's what they call an anchor, a weave anchor. Because uh, I can't tell you how many plot lines in D&D are about Mistra dying or being destroyed or unraveled or what have you. And um, so if Mistra were to ever die again... Valo's existence would help her pull herself back from death, the abyss, the void, wherever gods go when they die. So, <laughs> he's actually very important, but she made him an, a weave anchor because he's so unsuspecting, if you will. So I thought that was really funny. Anyway, Gale, you look worse for wear. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. You should have told me. 
Oh, hey. I've been saving this ring just for him. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, we're not doing the, um, the warding bond thing anymore. Because I was informed it goes away. Soon, TM. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Oh, Mr. have mercy on us all. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. All right. Go on. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. And from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Sounds like you're bragging. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The Lady of Mysteries. The Goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. Hmm. As a cleric, I think I'm going to go with number two. Bold. You would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. I am, after all, the villain of the tale. We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. Hmm. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Well, I am mildly intrigued. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. And he almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought, until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book, a netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? <laughs> well, what was the answer to that question? I kind of want to sass him, but I kind of don't. So anyway, what was the answer? The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. I was certain that this deed of raw power draped in romance would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. 
Okay. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. How are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Boo. Hmm. Well, anything we should do? We might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle round the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this, it must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Hmm. Well, we've come this far together, Gale. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. All right, Gail. I should have done that in the reverse order, so it would have made more sense when I explained the whole anchor weave thing, but it's fine. <laughs> hey, look, there's a black hole here. I'm hoping today will be our only rest, or this right here will be our only rest. Uh, let's see if Carlyke has something to say before we take a nap. Hey, soldier. Sup? Oh. Okay. Time to end the day. We had almost no spell slots. Oh, here we go. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Hmm. Rub your aching hands. I like to rub my hands, too. I have Renaud, so my uh, my extremities, my hand and my feet, they don't have the best blood flow, so I do that a lot. So rub your aching hands. The ache builds as you squeeze your hands together. Were your fingers always so thick? Your skin always so sticky? Hi, Lizzo. I haven't talked to you in a while. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. 
Hmm. Well, let's just have a chat, shall we? Let's not get crazy here. We're just... I have advantage on... Persu oh, I have advantage. It's just a fever. Rest will break it. We're chilling, lazy. I can even guide myself. Look at that. It's impossible to fail this roll. Oh, by the way, Karmic Die are still turned off. So, it is truly the will of Lathander. The die will carry us to the future. I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. The ladies approve. I will wait, but know this: I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Okay. I've been waiting. Oh, I am sweating very heavily. Profusely, even. I came just in time. You are transforming. Hello there. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Wow. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. Imagine hacking the paw off? Oh dear. Take the hand offered to you. much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Remember how mind blown I was in my first playthrough? Seeing this. A fight this? for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Oh my. That was a thumbnail I used in the past. Shall I reuse it? Now. You'll feel better. I promise. So I thought about making the Dream Visitor look like Lathander, but I ended up going with Ashante, who was uh, Lathander's lover. So the goddess of Earth is protecting us. So cold because you like to scratch behind the ear? Oh. Shadow Heart. That was adorable. We're don't mind me, we're just uh our morning prayers to Lathander. Oops. I'm hoping to get level five and then we'll start taking on the uh the spooky stuff that I know about. Hopefully we don't encounter too many of them before uh still alive, so that's progress. Best be on my way. Before I'm ready. Volo! Have you done your research? Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. 
I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Wait a minute, didn't we say that already? Has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Follows guide to spirits inspectors. Huh. What if it's worth grabbing any of those? I've gotten 10 potion of speak with animals. I sure do enjoy being rich. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Seems. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic after all. Uh... Is the largest needle I've ever seen in my life. Well, okay. I'll trust the subtle divinity within you, Volo. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Endure the discomfort. Pray to Lathander. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns. And begins to push. Clench your fists. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. <laughs> that obstacle was my eye. No, 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 no. Hold still. Believe. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. Uh, I the instrument, but allow him to proceed. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, uh. don't move. Hold your breath. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Old disapproval. Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run. <laughs> um... Let's go with... Blah, 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 blah. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just... A little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Oh, I heard that. Trash. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. Did I die? Oh, no. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't seem to see through one of my eyes. Yes, quite. But there is some mild trauma. Really? I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. <laughs> He's just gone. All right, well... We have acquired a new eye that allows us to see invisibility. Which is why you want to do that. <laughs> Whether you really want to do it or not, that's another question. But hey, I didn't do it in the last playthrough. The and uh, it will be quite... No time to dally. Is good the word? It'll certainly be something. Certainly be something. So, with all that out of the way... 
I hope Volo comes back. I want to keep buying potions from him. Uh, but with all of that out of the way, let's get started, shall we? Intestines throb, blood whispers. Now, I don't really remember the best way to approach this, but uh, we'll go see if we can save what's his face first. I think I can do it with enhanced jump, but we'll see. And there's a fancy schmancy little trick I'd like to try. I've never done it before. A deep hole? Huh? Hmm. I don't know where that goes. That tree. Something's off. Still fresh. I can't say what. Something with massive claws made this. Indeed. I'll take that. Indeed it did. There's a severed arm here. I believe this is the way down. It is. So, we're looking for... Good job, Tim. We have been tossed with looking for Mr. That Guy. And we are going to obtain this in the only true way. Brute Force. There's actually quite a few tricks you can do here. Um, like I said, we're going with Brute Force. Please don't follow me. Where am I needed? We could also use um Misty Step, but I'd have to use it twice, right? Because there's some stuff I want to pick up here if we can. Alright. Where am I? Stop! Stop! <laughs> you recognize the name. Bibberbang, a mushroom that releases dangerous spores. Highly flammable. This is quite the predicament you've landed yourself in. Wait, can I trade with him from here? Does invisibility work? I don't know if I should have done that. I know that scroll escape my bag please i've dropped it somewhere hold tight thank you thank you all right no i need you to stay here how do i get him to stop following me stop it Okay, change in plan. Damn, it's good to be alive. Played at the Glut ready. is following Solaire. So my girl's gonna take care of this instead. Don't be shy. We're gonna go in turn base mode. Um I thought his bag was over here. Hello? There it is, yeah. I don't know if this is gonna work. But I hope it will. If he dies, he dies. Please don't hit him. Hey. And we'll run into this corner. Away from everything, and they will act to turn base mode. Felon. I threw your bag to you. Perfect. Ah! Oh. oh, I'm all right. You are. And Perfect. God, I can finally breathe. Despite everything. Ah, right. As uh, what were you saying? What indeed? I met Dareth. She's waiting for you. Dareth, I must. Need to go. Ta. A lethal ice. Well, okay. Oh. Jeez. Come on, let's go. Okay. So. Huh. Need this torch. Oh, okay. All right. Ah, uh, so that was fun. That was the first time I've ever done it that way. 
I think Karlak has enough natural jumping that she can just do this. Now, he was out here looking for that. Hmm. Uh, is there a way to get that without everything exploding? Am I really going to have to... Hmm. Uh, hmm. Awkward. I don't remember if the noble stock explodes if I blow everything. I failed a survival check. My guess is no. Alright, I'm going to turn in turn based mode. We're gonna jump. Gotta pick that up. And then I'm probably gonna explode. One, two. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, uh, well. Uh, That's that, I suppose. It exploded. Uh, Alright. No one stopped me yet. Just tank it. Cooking. You're doing great, Garlack. All right, I think we got everything we needed to here. So, aside from the unnecessary damage we took, ever onward. Kaboom! Kaboom! Please explode. There we go. I want to go see what the survival thing was. I think we got most of what we needed here. So Noble Stock is really funny. Um, I thought the lady would explain it to me, but I don't. You know, she never did. Noble Stock is kind of like a panacea. It's a cure-all. And of course, they're alchemists looking to sell it for money. But if we desire, we can use it ourselves. Or, um, What's the story? things. have loads of potions, so. Is that blood? I probably should not have used a, heal a slot for that. That's okay. This is what it is. All right, team. Come over here and tell me what this is. Really? We're all going to fail this rival check, huh? Okay. Well, we all failed this survival check. Good job. Great. Is what it is. <laughs> it be what it be. And it ain't what it ain't. So you can actually do quite a few things with the, um... The noble stock. The pride of the gate. I think we're probably gonna do... Uh, man, what do we do with it? As the Dark Urge, we actually have more options than usual. We're gonna pick up the Susser Bloom. I don't like these flowers. They're bad. No, Carlac, they're good. I feel like a rose in a tea shop. Uh, so this is the Susser Bloom that we need for a few things, actually. Oh, I'm. Uh... Okay, there are two blooms. I could just keep this on me. That'd be funny. Can I throw from here? Oh, nice. Uh. So there. Not as bad as it could have. Walk in death. Come this way. Needs to go into stealth mode. Okay, so we're going to exit turn basement real quick. Oh, yeah, he's a mushroom. Defender of the people. He, um, mushrooms don't blow up mushrooms. Wits and blades always sharp. Pro tip. Waiting with bated breath. 
Okay, so here's what we're going to do. From stealth, we're going to try and kill this thing. Best we can. I don't care about the anti-magic field. Whatever it takes. Because I'm not going to use magic for this. Looks good. Alright. So, Miss Carla. Is going to eat your spear. I'm amazed you were spotted. Out of sight. Out of mind. Man, that... This is through hiding? Oh, you're outside normal range. Skip in and out. Hmm. Whatever. Okay. Not bad. Uh, if there is a bad thing, it's that this thing can actually jump. Very well. We're gonna pull you back. With the team. Another fight. Let's go. And then we'll end our turn. <laughs> See what I decide to do. We have a dash. Good, good, good. There's the pounce. Beautiful saves. B E A U T F L saves. Got to focus. That is unfortunate though. Oh, good damage, Shadowheart. On my way. For once, I was not disappointed. Unfortunately, I don't have the Shriek up, and I don't want to use this, so I think I'm just going to yeet an Ignis here. That won't work. What? What? Huh? Can't afford to let up. Was that Chante speaking to me? Interesting. I won't give in. But Shriek? Probably should have had that before we started this Let's combat, but... Disadvantage. Don't care. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Nothing important is ever easy. You tried. You tried so hard. Well done, Shadowheart. These things usually kind of slap. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so we have, what? One. Wow, there are two. Okay. Everyone stealth again. Take it. I'd love to, thanks. I am a little worried about this. Hmm. How do I get him? Could do an illusion. Try and pull him down. Come on now, Shadowheart. Don't explode that. If she just runs, you think it'll explode? Not if I do it well. Alright, well, your turn. Chill runs through you. Your magic, the fire that burns within, is. Fading. What? Draconic bloodline. Call upon your ancestor. The magic erupts, violent and powerful, but is snuffed out by the Susa flower, vanishing like embers in the wind. Hmm. Hey, what's wrong? You look spooked. You should be speaking to me, Carlac. It's the flower. My magic is gone. Gone, gone. But... You're a sorcerer. Isn't magic you? It's actually a great question. A temporary setback. <laughs> okay, Kaelfoss. A temporary setback. It's the bloody underdog. Never know what mad shit you're going to run into down here. True. That was interesting. I've never seen that before. I am a little concerned about some um, my favorite rat feet being here because this guy could probably just pounce and fly all the way from here to me. But maybe he would take fall damage? Possibly? Does this count as adventuring? Um I'd like Falar Louvre to be active. Do 
Eh. It's fine. Alright, Garlac. Hey, why are you over here? Let's get it started. It'll be a beautiful throw. Okay. In position. Oh, the enemy is surprised. Nice. That means they get a bonus round. I can't see him. Overview? Er. <laughs> well, this is something. I think I clicked on him. I can't afford to fail. Need to Can the team hit him from over here? I don't believe so. No. That's fine. Just wait down there. Where do I go from here? He's surprised. As he should be. Eighty percent. Not bad. Blood comes easy these days. Not too shabby. That's a lot worse. Again. Why are you talking so much, Shantae? I mean, not that I don't appreciate it. Paul. Oh. Wow, what's his face went prone? It's annoying. Beautiful. I wonder if this is worth the cost. All right, Shadow Art. Your turn. This is why I want uh, Eldrick Blasting back for Will. Because it would be perfect in situations like this where I don't want to rip my magic. But, hey. Oh, four. Great, yeah. Four damage, team. Oh, this is per short rest. Oh, hmm. No, oh, target must be crap. You miss. You miss too. Ah, ah, ah. My tanky boy is a tanky boy. Alright. More Susser Bloom. Very well. We can send that to Carlac. She has double the Susser Bloom now. I don't think it stacks in any way, but. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's a teleporter there. Cool. Best be on my way. There's a guy here. Um, Ilro the Forgotten. There are a few ways to learn about him. <laughs> oh, okay. This is fine. Cloak and dagger. Nice it sure is nice playing Damn tactically it, for once, isn't it? Wow, what am I going to do with all the Sister Bloom? I know there are a few uses for it. Um, eat. The Blacksmith Quest. Um, I need to attach us before I get us in trouble. The Blacksmith Quest, we can use it here in the Underdark, which is what I'm planning on doing. I don't really like the weapons from the blacksmith, though. They're very mid. Supremely mid. I'll just leave you here. I should be fine. I don't know. Time to push my luck again. What now? There. Let's go. Ready. Okay. Echoes in the dark. No, 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 no. He's calling for backup. Yeah, 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 that's not allowed. Look at that damage. That is insane. It's not even, like, the best throwing. We could be so much better at it. Okay. Well, I mean, there's no reason to, uh... Change the plan, is there? Halfling essence. Halfling essence? Who's a halfling?
I believe this guy is a spellcaster. Good idea, Yeet. Oh, hi. Uh, hmm. I didn't expect you to be here. I can't even catch my breath. Out of sight, out of All right. Well, I have a free magic missile. Uh, it's level one. Fortunately. I think we'll just do that. Try something else. That wasn't great. Shantae, you're talking a lot of smack Behold for somebody who's not the here. Gods of death. Behold the might of Stormwind. Can't afford any mistakes. Alright, Shadowheart. Need to press onward. You're gonna have to be the one who does this. I believe in you. So unfortunately, the Bulets, um, the only person who can actually deal damage to it is Karlak. Because he just negates anything less than 15. I mean, Solaire can do that. Let me move a little bit closer to you, Shadowheart, I'm sorry. No, whatever. Close enough. Perfect. He's almost dead. Smell blood. Let's finish this. All right. Might have to rage with Shadowheart. We'll see. Oh, I should have met a magic something. Nope. Go. I'm completely down for you. You guys fighting each other. They're dying for me. All of them. All right, Shadow Harding, you get out of the way. Come on, can't stay idle. So Solaire, take the shot, rip it straight into his face. Perfect. Hurrah, hurrah! The Forgotten is dead. Fuck yes. Handy. Yeet. <gasps> hmm. Oh, I wasn't raging. Hmm. I should have been raging. Okay. Lesson learned. We'll rage next turn. Sorry, what was that? Modifier? I didn't see that at all. On the victor's path. Um. Let's rip some shots, shall we? That was quite a lot. <laughs> Respect, Will. Respect. Unfortunately, Sometimes Glut's gonna have to wait. Is through. You're also gonna have to wait. I am perfectly content with this. Yes, pounce the Bulet. Alright, we're gonna rage. Now this should do the damage required. This'll help. There we go. As you explode. Perfect. And we're just going to start shooting this thing. Outside normal range. How about now? Outside normal range. How about now? Outside normal range. How about now? <laughs> Do I just not have vision anymore? Ugh. Gross. Hmm. That's fine. No holding back. Kind of. Oh, I actually stepped into the Susser Bloom. Alright, we'll just do a basic missile. And then Glut will continue to hold the line. Well, so much for peace. Um, do I want to shoot this? It might actually kill him. It should be unfortunate. Oh, Diamond Scales is off. Nice. Get to work. 
Oh yeah, run away, you craven dog. Darn, I should have shot the Hakor. Are you coming to face me? You're not running? Bold. Brave, in fact. Ought to do it. Farewell. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's um have a chat. Carl, I can pick up her third Susser Bloom. Can't give up now. Alrighty, we have a tattered scroll, we have a half-eaten gnome. Can I talk to the half-eaten gnome? Not when Karlak is nearby. There we go. How go over there, my love. Today? How many die tomorrow? The corpse remains silent. No. Probably because it was half-eaten. Now, this guy has a few things to say. But will he talk to me? Because I killed him, I think. Pretty sure it was Solaire who got the killing blow. But maybe he didn't know that. The corpse regards you lifelessly. So... Who are you? Fero, forgotten, forsaken. Sucks to suck, bro. You lived among these creatures. My pack found me, fed me, gnome flesh. Oh, you ate the gnome. How'd you come to be here? Chasing mystery. What is that? Workshop of Great Siluf Yali hmm. Artifacts Beyond Price. I see. And where would I find this legendary forge? Location was Durn's task. I learned. Of the Guardian. Yeah. Still not sure how I'm gonna... power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Deal with that. I have a plan. But, you know. Curious. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. The ice crystal. This crystal is freezing to the touch, no matter how long you hold it. Shallow grooves run along the bottom, as if it used to be attached to something... Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Grilled Groth Ribs. I think I can send that to camp. Never wanted the easy path. We have a pouch here. Trust me. That'll help us later. Okay. An unfinished conjuration scroll marred by teeth marks and dried slobber. A few words emerge from the muddle. Skaren Ixensfeld... Magma, 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 mag, ma. All right. Uh, Scatter into a scroll in it by a chaotic cant. Protector, guardian of the adamantine forge. From magma rose only and magma destroyed. Hot hammer, hot hammer. Where? A small map is drawn underneath, marked by numerous X's. The following words are scratched beneath it. Dorn knows. And we all failed the investigation check. I was hoping this would be more than eight, but we'll take it. Also, I forgot. Send that to camp. We have a shaft of a broken uh, spear with the head of a broken spear, which gives us the vision of the absolute. Blind targets to fail a deck saving throw deals an additional 2 to 12 piercing damage to certain creatures that sport multiple set of eyes. Garlic, you have a new throwing weapon. Alright. Well, that was enlightening. Enlightening indeed. Now, let us face our first. Second. Honor. Mode. But who? We shall separate the team. 
take it by surprise. Don't waste the step. Come with me. What's next, I wonder? Keeping quiet. Together, Glut. We shall slay the dread creature. You know, let's get knocked over. Hey, ho. Let's move. Pave my path with corpses. The Beulet. Build my castle with bones. I wish I still had the um the follow our loop, but that's okay. I shall face this great champion. This foul creature. The predator of the dark. Alright. Go that way. Go this way. Well, well, I'm too tall for this. Garlack, if you will. Oh, this is only available in combat. Well, thankfully, I don't really have to be raging anymore. I'm pretty sure the Bulette only has two eyes, so. Do it. I don't know why I just took damage there. That's okay. Still breathing, despite will? everything. Uh, let's, uh, what shall we do here? Okay, so he's still resistant against most things, but we can do some eating. Sure. Again, if we had Fallow our Louvre, that'd be a very to keep going. large number. But comes, no need I'm to ready. lament my folly. Too much, anyway. Right. Hit me. It's not going to hit me. It's not going to hit me at all. No. Oh. Well. Okay, Glut. You can't die. I have a job for you. I think it's time we use some magic team. Get a spear. Maybe a hammer. I like the spear. We can go for this. We should just pick up. Oh, I can't. So let's pick up Will, but I can't quite. Okay. You should heal. Because that's what you're good at. You can't cure wounds because of the susser. That's fair. Now what do we do? We could try vicious mockery. Okay, yeah. I tried. Garlack. If you would. Please rage and throw. Beautiful hit. Okay. Oh. Bro. You are a menace. <laughs> Alright, I have a plan. Well, you're gonna have to get out of here. Alright. Need you to get up, Carlac. That is a guiding bolt that will also inflict radiating orbs, so he's gonna have poor rolls. We can also go ahead and healing word will. We'll pull her back. What's this? 
I probably shouldn't have consumed the guiding bolt there. Um, the fact that I'm out of... Oh, my rage about is about to end, isn't it? Damn. No holding back. That is unfortunate. You're burrowing. What? Huh? That'll have to do. Is this not where it dies? Did I mess up? Hmm. That was so much harder than I thought it would be. Uh. The rock under your feet juts upwards, forming a perfectly engraved tombstone with a small epitaph. In memory of Myrna, a shining light in this dark world, may you forever gaze upon the lake you love to play in. Dig up the grave. Failed an arcana check, but... As you dig, you slowly expose the skeletal remains of a large dog wearing a chunky leather collar. I don't know what that black thing was that hit the screen. I'll call her. All right. Well, um, I have no idea where the bulet went. I could have sworn that was where it died, actually. Oh, here we go. Effects one target at a time. No effects on corpses of construct, plants, or aberrations. Is the bullet an aberration? So my plan... My plan was to kill the bullet and use it raised to go take on the harder fight. Um, But how are I supposed to know if the bullet itself was going to be a hard fight? So we're going to raise a hook or... And this is going to come help me. At least I I planned on it coming to help me. Right? Team? Also, do I need the Sussur flowers if I have the dog collar? Now, normally a priest of light would not dare defile the corpse. But, you know. Necessities sometimes demand otherwise. Are we really going to fight the Bulet at the Dwergar site? Hmm. Okay. We now have four sister flowers. And I thought... Yeah, here it is. The sister tree bark. I've got the plans and the Sousa bark. Now I need somewhere to craft it all. Yes. If I put this in a pouch, will it still work? Attention! All right. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure. Father, they will die for you. Well, I don't know where this thing went. Um. It need to find kind it. of looks like it went over here, so we'll go over here as well and see what we can see. I guess. No skeleton here. So for the noble stock, I think I stopped started talking about it and didn't. I think we will turn it in, um, but we could eat it ourselves if we wanted to. You can actually feed it to Shadowheart to have uh, some special dialogue with her. And as the Dark Urge, we have special dialogue as well because, you know, we're amnesiacs. What's in here? So if you were interested in that, you could do so. I have no okay. idea where the bullet went. Looks abandoned. It's just gone. It burrowed away like a craven dog and it's gonna show up when I least want it to. Executed deep gnome. 
Oh, yeah, this is a really good sword. Not great for what we're doing, but... Like, rogues and whatnot. It's a very potent weapon. To have the first swing in battle. Is this where I think it is? No. I think we're getting close. Corpses. These creatures did battle with Dwergar. They did. I would like to keep the pride of the gate. Uh, my friend, a little bit longer. Well, well, well. One so I'm going to be avoiding the the fight with the Dwergar for now. Wait, I can't jump this. Oh. Never mind. Take it back. I thought I could. I think we are going backwards. Yeah, this is back towards the Mykonid colony. Where on earth did those things like I go? There is a fight I missed earlier. Um, so I might as well go deal with that. We're just exploring. Using glut to our own benefit. Oh, hey, look. Must lug my guts through this hell. I guess I'm ta chasing this guy down. We're chasing down the Beulet here. Someone has to... Okay. Someone has to make this check. We already missed one. Those are to mask spores. Didn't see those there. You will die for me. No, no. Maybe I need more pockets. Shadowheart? You still with me? Broken bones. Must have fallen. Yeah, must have. Okay, where's the other one? If we can fight... Soldier. Without getting nothing. both of them, that'd be cool. But I don't think we can. One, two. Wow, that's a lot of health. That's so much more health than I expected. Go this way. Let's not to survive this. No time to dally. Keep it quiet. Yeah, but we're gonna go this way. In fact, you two stay down here. I need to we'll let this go through and see what happens. Ready for another round. Okay, the hook horror is involved, but Glut is not. So we'll bring back Sovereign Glut so he doesn't get nothing will stand in my way. Bounced. Okay. All right, Karlak. It's go time. It is go time, Karlak. <sighs> okay. Uh. Okay. What if I do this? Uh-huh. Hey? Maybe? Uh, we could do a minor heal. I don't know if I need to. I think I am gonna rage here. Rage is per short. I hope it is per short rest. Here. I'll heal that thing. On the victor's path. I really should have restored some AP. What does Reckless Roar do? Uh, advantage on attack rolls, but attackers also have advantage on attack rolls against the creature. It has a vulnerability to bludgeoning. I see. I don't particularly have bludgeoning. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm gonna stay way back. Again, I could have uh, used some meta magic there, but I think I'm gonna try and save my sorcery points for a prone target. And... Not a bad bleed. I don't know what the chances are of me proning anything. All right, Mr. Bulette. Holy shit. Well, I should have believed. Good swing. Come into the come into this. Yeah. Okay. I am a little concerned about my boy. But um It's okay. Ninety-nine percent chance. Okay. One, two. Wow, that was twenty-six damage. No choice but to keep going. Alright. What on earth does Solaire do? Flame hands. I could swing. I think we're gonna shriek here. For sure. And I'll uh, first save myself. And I'll try and go here. Perfect. Alright. No. Oh, holy shit. Okay, great. Alright. Um, let's get in here. Great. No holding back. All right, it's meta magic time. Let's get coming through. Twin spells. Can I not twin spell this? I think we learned that and I just kind of forgot. That sucks. Alright, Mr. Bulet. You will burn. Come on! Oh. How much health are you at now? Uh, I mean, Glut might be able to kill it. I could also uh, Quicken Spell and kill him. I think that was overkill, but it's a legendary creature. It was worth it. I hope. Will's... Oh. Will's kind of dead weight. See if I can get them both here. Wow, a double. That kills him. Perfect. I almost want to keep this thing. I wish I could multi-attack. No. Okay. 99%. He lives at one. One health. Where do I go from here? Valar Louvre, let's go. We have to look out for Pick up Shadowheart. Okay. Wow, that was tough. But the Beulet has finally been felled, and it gives us the Blood Guzzler Glarb. When an enemy damages the wearer, the wearer gains wrath for one turn. Which is what? Plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons for every turn this conditioning has remaining. You could, huh? A hero at heart. No, no, no. Oh, distant. Mm. That sucks. 
Wow, Will is really dead weight right now. There's a lot we can do. Hamlet of the Unworthy. Resistance to slashing, vulnerability to bludgeoning. Uh. Alright, so the trick here is the hook horror has been swell. Fantastic even. But why have a hook horror when you can have the Bulettes? My boy. So we'll see if this was better. It may have been. It may not have been. And we're basically just going to use him Have to, to deal with all the enemies, you know? Especially because so much of our... Uh, so much of our spell slots are just dead. An oil barrel? Hmm. Bet that will fit in my pack. Okay. So we're near the beginning again. Where we came from. But uh, I kind of avoided the Minotaurs on purpose because I was like, mm, this is probably a difficult fight. And for the record, I was right. It was kind of a difficult fight. I wasn't wrong. I was correct, Amundo. Oh. No. Hey, team. Do you know there's a trap here? Do not. That bastard. Uh, well. I'll fill that one later. Good thing I have that. Okay, Shadowheart, you're gonna not go first. And these things have stayed interesting. All right. Uh, Will. As ever. The fact that I can't detach these guys is kind of annoying. Keep it together. Okay. The heck. All right. Well. Don't waste the step. This, I believe, is the the Zentarum. The Zentarum. Yep. Mercenaries and cutthroats. Useful friends if you can afford them. If you can afford them. I don't remember what's... Oh, hey. Because it's so much to rest, we can use make, make use of that. Sure. Some random stuff. There's a really funny build that has... um that uses torches as, like, their main weapon. I kind of wanted to try it, but... You know, so much to do in so little time. Come on, okay. Can I pick this? Maybe. Wow, ten exactly. It is the will of the die. I thought there'd be more explosives here. that I wanted for definitely legitimate purposes. I think I want Shadow Heart here. Onward, then. Defender of the I people. I think she can get up here. Possibly? What's next, I wonder? That'll do. She's standing on the box to get up there. Hey, Shadowheart. Welcome to the team. I must keep going. Or to the party, I should say. I'm gonna need your uh, your luck here. Your bonuses. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if I would have been able to roll that. Nat 20. It doesn't feel like it was worth it. Gotta be honest. Does this work? No. I cannot leave the Underdark. Yeah, don't. You recall the Fezras, 
the energy of the Underdark. The Myconid might die if isolated from it. Oh. Remain in the Underdark. Shadowheart. What am I to do? You go. Doesn't work. No. What to do? All right. One day I'll catch a break. Fair enough. What is this anyway? Oh, going back to the surface. Okay. I think there was something about that. There's dialogue in the Zentarum camp about that not working or something. It's been so long. I can't remember. No, chill. Calm down. Dream in red. Whatever comes, I'm ready. <laughs> Those guys jumping around is making me nervous. I have such a headache. All right. I think we did it all over here. <laughs> the Sister Bloom is kind of annoying. All right. So we have what we wanted. We have what we need. I think it's time. Do I need to clear this to get to the Arcane Forge? Or not Forge, um... the arcane place. Oh! Hey. Uh, if I bring you here... My poor pet. There is one thing. Oh, one tricksy little thing. I need to take care of. Okay. The Beulet has I joined guess. us. Blood follows me everywhere. I'm not sure if he uh, can actually come out here, but everyone else is going to come this way. It looks like he's kind of stuck. Hmm. I do not recall at all what the trigger is for this, but don't worry, it'll be fine. Probably. Sharp as ever. No. Uh Okay. Fair enough. Ever onward. That'll do. Wanna dance? Me? That'll do, pig, that'll do. A long way to go still. Have to keep pushing. All is ash and meat. Alrighty. Well have I been this way before? What? Could uh I believe it's this guy. There are a few tricks you can do here. Of course, we are currently trickless. So, um, being trickless as we are, let's just run in. Hello. So this is the spectator. Ah, oh, he got Carla. He got everybody. Okay. Wow, that's rude. Swift as my feet can carry me. The spect okay. The spectator has my goodness, panic sentinel. This paranoid spectator will immediately fire a random eye ray at any creature it can see that moves within six meters of it. Wow. Legendary action, Ocular Nightmare. After accumulating five paranoid dreams, the spectator will spend a legendary action to cast Ocular Nightmare when it is next struck. That doesn't sound fun. When the spectator is struck, it dreams in fear. 
After five paranoid dreams, it will spend a legendary action to cast Arc of the Nightmare. Uh, if the spectator uses one of his eye rays, it loses one paranoid dream. We have the Shriek. Okay. So there are a number of ways to uh, avoid this, this, for lack of a better word. We have no rage charges. Could be a problem. That's it. <gasps> It didn't return to me. Oh, it did. Okay. Tactical. But this is my time. We do have a, something of a boon, uh, which is that this darkness oh, my word. means uh, it can't see me. I'm pretty sure. Fleet of foot. It might have magic sight or devil sight or whatever, but this is all the damage will can do. I'm afraid. I would have loved to get back into the darkness, but here we are. My faith will protect me. Considering how much this moves, it's very unlikely. Um. Down with you. Okay, critical miss. That I'd be able to drop the, the fan of knives on it, but. This is my time. Will. All right, well. That is a fat. Holy shit balls! Well. Well. Hmm. I don't believe this is friendly fire. This is guaranteed to connect, so I think I'm going to do this. We'll channel the light of Lathander. It, of course, saved. No surprise there. healing wind, I guess. Or second wind. Okay. All of the drow are awake. Uh, unexpected. Well, this is but quite the crux in my... Quite the... <laughs> uh... Hmm. I can't move because we're afraid. Take a big potion, I guess. I don't know what to do with this. I can't really do anything. Hmm. Well. Okay. All right. Solaire. Now, Solaire has a few options. Uh, but I think we're going to end up going with one in particular. It's an action to drink a potion, isn't it? How much health do you have? Man, he's so close to death. If I roll well, 
This is fine. If I don't, we're scuffed. Get the wrong fight, friend. An insurance policy. Okay. Dr. Will. Okay. All right. How can you assist me, Shadowheart? How indeed. We can go for our shots. I think we pick up Will here. I mean, Will's kind of dead weight right now. We'll drink this. Oh, good save. Didn't think about that. Is there a world where I actually knock this guy off? I don't think so, but we'll try it. Yeah, okay. What I should have done probably was this dissonant whisper to try and get a negative effect on him. I really could do. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Eat. That is interrupted. By what? Oh, can I not do it because I... Hmm. Uh, oh, thank you for the save. Path is still interrupted. Yo? This is part of the jank people we're talking about with throwing builds. Um. Yeah, we'll drink that. And then what? This darkness is both helpful and harmful. Okay, there we go. Well, there we partially go. Will this do friendly fire? I don't actually know. It would be really funny if I threw this and then just got fucking killed by the backlash. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Hold on, don't throw this. I want to throw this! Nope, not that. This! I think that could have gone better. I threw that because this has more than two eyes. I like how the Bulet is still here. This guy's looking for me, but he's not gonna find me. I got the fuck out of town. Yeah, detect me. Detect me harder. This would be the first time I actually save all of them. Ah, oh, 23 life. I'm gonna skip my turn. Do your thing. I'm just gonna stay here. I don't exist right now. Good. I mean, the Paranoid Dreams is not great, but good. Your days are done, man. Yeah. Yes. This magical darkness has been absolutely lit. Okay, I'm not gonna save all the drought. That's okay. Who cares? The drought. Now this is my happy place. In a servant.
GG. Easy out. How much farther can I go? Uh Okay, hold on. Play down. Uh so my Bulet dreams were cut short. No one back home will ever believe this. Although not by my own doing. In fact, I think he uses bug now. But um not my problem. Do I have a rest? Nope. I don't think we have to fight here. Kinda of waiting for the team to <coughs> Damn it. Dust on my tongue. <sighs> I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Twit. Quite ruined by ambush. Now, you are? Hmm. I don't know how to fix this. Maybe it doesn't need fixing. Nothing hurts anymore. Moving ahead. Okay, well. Oh. Hi. Let's get on with it. Did not see that at all. I was trying to pickpocket him, but uh obviously that didn't go well. We are dying. I'm Karlak. You're welcome for the rescue. Rescue? Helpless babes are rescued. I allowed you to assist me. I really didn't I want you to talk. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker. And initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! What's that? A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull. Then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Philro? We know one of those names. Philro went mad. I had to kill him. Consider it mercy, or pest control. Philro was never fully right. Huh. We were friends once, three of us working together to find a lost wonder. Until the others grew jealous, began to guard their secrets. Did you have anything interesting in his possession? Uh, some text, but it's written in code. You release me and hand deliver such a prize. I ought to keep you, but I'm afraid I can't. You've proven a little too resourceful. And I really can't suffer another rival for this prize. I swear. So try to take this as a compliment. Yes? Ah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Using two of these in one go hurts my soul a little bit. But, um. Making my move. I need someone to not die. You know? I'm assuming they'll go for Shadowheart. She has the lowest AC here. Uh, Karlak is probably just gonna pick one of them up and toss them. At somebody else. Oh shit. Um, I need this guy to die. Great, Shadow Heart. Perfect. Love you. All right, you sons of bitches. Fuck you. Next. Got it. Who wants to fucking go? I wonder if this is worth the cost. This 
guy has a name. He tried. Okay, I forgot what it was like to fight regular opponents. Will's probably chilling, but just in case, uh, I am going to begin evacuating. You never know. You never know. Shadowheart's probably going to fall over here. Good job, Shadowheart. Don't worry, Shadowheart will soon be useful. Didst thou mother sex a plague rat? Good question. I like how this is a 90% chance even though they're right next to each other. Yeet! Uh, I could necrotic touch this. I mean, I'm probably going to have to rest now, right? Let's give it a touch. Okay. You don't. All right, well, you keep on keeping on. You tried. How did Shadowheart just stand back up? Oh, she didn't. I'm gonna hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Uh, Tavern Brawler is so fun. Good? Maybe. But most certainly fun. How dare you hit me? Um, do I have a offhand attack of any kind? No. All right. I'll just throw you over here. This should kill him. Ooh. Or not. Behold the dance of death. Behold the might of Stormwinds. <laughs> I'm just going to hit him this time. Shadowheart can't take forever without the rage. Never a dull Hello. Yeah. Surprise. <sighs> I was going to toss him down there. But I guess I'll just hit him normally. Thankfully, Shadowheart saved all of her rolls, so. Time to push my luck again. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, using this weapon isn't great, but. Maybe Will can come get the killing blow? Whatever, I don't care. Uh -huh. You tried. Okay. Well, that did not go how I wanted it to, but, um, it's okay. This is why I've taken everything very cautiously. Don't burn yourself. I have a lot on my mind. Alright, talk to me, bro. The corpse regards you lifelessly. So... Do you care anything valuable? Memory. Okay, we've established that. How do I use this? True title. Activates. Dawn. Lord Archmage. Uh-huh. Alrighty. What does this memory shirt do? Choose way. Adamantine Forge. Okay. What can you tell me about the forge? Adamantium. Precious beyond measure. Oh, cute. All right. The mad drow wasn't alone in hunting this adamantine forge. 
Sure wasn't. The Blast Pendant gives us Lightning Blast. Focus your electricity in your veins to strengthen your next lightning spell or cantrip. Huh. We have the Memory Shard. We have the Icy Helve. More camp supplies. On my way. I wonder if that would affect the, um... Watch my closets. Raid Drow Hood. Always, it's never bad to have more. I don't want to interact with the Bulette just in case. Well, Glut's dead. But... That's a price I'm willing to pay. From the spectator, we get the spectator's eyes. Uh, which gives us a ray of fear and wounding ray. I think this is once per long rest, yeah. Spectators are hideous aberrations that float above the ground, fiercely staring around and shooting beams at anything they don't quite appreciate. Which I guess is everything. Alright, so we'll explore all of that in a moment. Because it's time to go to camp. Playing around the sister thing is not great. I could just store them, but... You know... Why? By the way, I think if I wanted to, I could fix my eye. You know, the way it looks. At the magic mirror. We just chill. Shall we chill? Anyone want to chat? Any talkers? Volo's gone, but I hope he return. Hello? Camera? Still in control. Okay. Just. I hope he returns. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Me too. I had a similar dream. A side effect of the tadpole? Sounds like it. What did you make of it? That's actually a great question. Hmm. What do I think of it? It was Lathander's lover who came to me. So I'm inclined to trust it. If there is some kind of power to be unlocked from our affliction, I'm willing to try. Seems risky, if you ask me. Couldn't help getting stuck with the tadpole, but taking favors from it? Spooky. I know. I thought she'd like that because um, she's all about the soul coins. Which means I thank you for letting me know there's not much like a consequence for using them. I appreciate that. I meant to use them on the harder fight, but forgot. Oh, hey! Shantae is back. I promised I'd be back. You did. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the parasite's power. You think you don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You thought a Mind Flayer might know how to extricate one of its own from you. But a Meloem couldn't help you. Your tadpole lives. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Hmm. Wow. Um. There are a lot of cool options here. There's even a Dark Urge thing, but I don't... I mean, he didn't... The butler hasn't offered me a greater power yet. I haven't seen that. Also, I have no intention of listening to him. We are resisting, after all. Omeloa mentioned some sort of strange magic preventing the tadpole from being removed. What do you know about that? Omeloa is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. 
You were lucky that Emeluim realized this before he attempted a fatal extraction. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The absolute. I'm kind of interested in the magic, but um, what is the sickness? The absolute aims are not yet clear to me, but its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Hmm. Should we mention... You know what? I'm going to do it. This is a Dark Urge thing. My mind tells me to do foul things. I assure you, your protection is working. I protect you from becoming a Mind Flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. No. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. We are? Just like you, I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. Hmm. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells. They need me. I have to go. Hmm. Anything I can do to help? No. I can handle this. For now. The power I use to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. Follow the cultists' trail. They will lead you to their masters. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Hmm. It's quite interesting seeing all these again once you've played through the game for the first time. I have a lot of questions, but I'll refrain from asking them. Because eventually the answer will be... Revealed. Hey, Scratch. We must pray to Lathander. For it is a new day. A new hour. Uh, you have the noble stock. Drink that. No one back home will ever believe this. Ready up with haste. Scratch. The dog holds a well chewed ball in his mouth. Oh hey. Hand it over. It's not me. It's only fair that you enjoy it too. But if you feel like throwing it, I wouldn't mind that at all. Adam. Oh, no animation? Robbed. Oh, this needs to be sent again. This also needs to be sent again. If you were a ball... There we go. Who's a good boy? Oh, he's a good scratch. I think he just, he comes to you, right? Every time. Not drop, throw. Did you already lose interest? Nope. 
He's such a good boy. <laughs> okay. Garlack, do you have anything to say? Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. The Golden Paladin. Then let's do it. Indeed. Okay. Not much uh, insight there. You know what? I think we'll we'll have a chat with Willy Boy. And then we'll call it a day. I haven't talked to Will, like, ever. So, um... Sup? Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Ha! <laughs> Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding. But I promise, you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a man with one eye. How about a man with horns and golden scales? Oh, by the way, thank you um, for letting me know. The difference between the fire dragons, red is, red dragons are dedicated to Tiamat, who is rather evil. Tiamat's actually indirectly in Baldur's Gate 3, um, part of Lazel's story. And the metallic dragons, copper and golden, are aligned with Bahamut, who is more like good-ish. He's the Lord of Dragons, so. Uh, so I made the right choice. Alrighty. What's it like being the son of a Grand Duke? Not so enchanting as you'd think. The poor tears, the cold wells. They were the blue bloods hosting the fancy balls and drinking from gold goblets. Father's the son of a blacksmith. Born with barely a coin in the coffers. He made a name for himself among the Flaming Fist. Brave as Balderan, stubborn as a deep rofe. Daring, outspoken, but hardly posh. <laughs> I spent more time dueling with father than I did rubbing elbows with lords. Not to say I didn't develop a taste for good wine and the talent for courtly dance. Hmm. And now you're the Blade of Frontiers. Quite a change, don't you think? Yes, and no. Father taught me the four pillars of power. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. He reckoned I'd follow in his footsteps. First as a fist marshal, then as a duke. Vanquish evil, maintain order, save the world. But a duke makes bedfellows with more monsters than he slays. Father called it diplomacy. I called it hypocrisy. In the frontiers, there is no posturing, no diplomacy. I slay monsters. I don't consort with them. Even if I might look like one. Hmm. Interesting. So, what do you make of Raphael? He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with... A hero, a villain, and a moral. Like all good fairy tales. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? Indeed. Hmm. Ha! With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? I th number five could be funny. Coming from someone who's already ensnared by a devil. But we'll, we'll be kind. We'll be nice. Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost will be too great. Ah. Huh. Wow. You can be brutal. Refuse him like he refused Mizora. I mean, he did technically refuse Mizora. I have no interest in a devil's deal, though. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. 
Hmm. So, how's it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? Hmm. Wow. There are some interesting options here, but uh, I'm going to go with three. I see the Blade of Frontiers. No more and no less. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Okay. So. I've got this uh, bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, to maim, to kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. Uh... <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Some, some, sometimes. All right, well, how'd you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? I feel like they asked in the wrong order, but hey, whatever. My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. Huh. So it was for me. After my exile, I was hunting near the Cloakwood. I heard a child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. Hmm. Uh, what act could be finer than saving your life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. Hmm. Was that how you lost your eye in the goblin battle? It was an even bloodier day and a stronger foe. It's made from pure bloodstone carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Your fake eye? But that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. All right, well, um, we're almost done, so I might as well finish this off. You should get out of the pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Hmm. There must be a loophole in the contract that lets you out. Devils play with loopholes all the time. It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. <laughs> yeah. We can beat her if we put our worms together. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Nah. Hi. Hey. How much do you like me now? Ha. Huh. Relationship is exceptional. Character is thrilled with and very easily convinced by the Avatar. Wasn't quite what I was going for, but, um... 
you know, at least someone likes me. Everyone else feels like it's on their fence, but um, that is for us to peruse next time as we break into the arcane tower and uh, deal with our spore friend's nemesis. May Glut rest in pieces. Fun fact, he was going to ask us to slaughter the circle, and well, we can't have that. So, uh, at the end of the day, was it really a loss? There can be only one sovereign after all. But thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to jump on my channel, feel free to join the description down below, and I will see you next time to wrap up the Underdark Reach Level 5 and go save everyone's favorite bath.